how does how does that science of mental illness tie into actual faith based teachings? That's a good question. So um, I had a conference this past weekend mm -hmm. and I actually shared um, a story that I would like to share with you today, if that's OK. Yes, it's really cool. This story is from a guy named Nick. And Nick says, I've always believed the world would be a better place without me. At 21, I became a Christian and thought becoming a Christian would solve all my problems. It didn't because I felt like God hated me. I opened up to other Christians about my struggles and I got criticized and told that I needed to repent hmm. or just to get over it. I was told to take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Christians told me to pray more and trust God more. So uh, that kind of summarized my Christian experience as it relates to mental health. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, we're told to pray about it. We're told to just trust God, um, all those different things. And while prayer is significant to live in life abundantly, it's significant to us being free. Um, however, the scripture says faith without works is dead, right? So if you're in and somebody has a stroke, you're going to pray, but you're going to call 911. And so the problem is, is when it relates to mental health, we want to pray, but we don't want to.